Hi, and welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to be looking at this language L, which is all the strings of the form 0 to the m, 1 to the n, where m has fewer than square root n ones. So there are fewer zeros than the square root of the number of ones, or the number of ones is less than the square root of the number of zeros. And what we're going to prove here is that this is not regular. So how do we actually prove this? So the way to get started, of course, is to suppose L is regular, then there exists a pumping constant P for L. And the thing we need to do now is to choose a particular string and the two most important things you should always remember when doing pumping lemma style proofs is the string has to be in the language and it has to be long enough. So by long enough, I mean has length at, at least P. So what should we pick here? Well, I could pick zero to the roughly square root of P minus one, one to the P, but I'm gonna be a little bit smarter than that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick 0 to the p squared plus 1, 1 to the p. And I could have um, inverted the numbers here. So it could have been 0 to the p, 1 to the p squared plus 1. That would have worked fine too. But I'm going to do it this way. So why did I pick p squared plus 1? Well, p squared plus 1 square root is strictly larger than p because of this plus 1 here. So then you may be thinking, okay, why didn't you just pick like 2p squared or something and um, instead of p squared plus 1? Well, the common trick with doing these is we always want to pick a length that is right on the boundary of being out of the language. So if I had this be 1 less, then it's not in the language anymore. So that's actually the key in trying to show that this is not regular. So how do we do this? Well... Every de we got to look at every decomposition, as we always have to do in every uh, pumping lemma style proof. So every decomposition is of the form. Well, since we're dealing with regular here, it, we always are going to have three parts, x, y, and z. So the string is made, made up of x, y, and z, where x and y have at most p characters, and z is the rest and y has at least one character. So x, well, it must be in the zeros part because it's the prefix of the string, the beginning. So I don't know how many zeros it has because we're looking at every decomposition. So let's just say that there are alpha of them. And then let's just say, well, y has to be in the zeros too because p is less than or equal to p squared plus one. So uh, it's some number of zeros, but I don't know how many because we're looking at every decomposition. We should note here that beta is at least one because the length of y is at least one. So z is the rest of the string. So that's p squared plus one, the original that we started with. Take away alpha for the x part, take away beta for the y part. And then we have the rest of the string. So one to the p. So let's see. Well, what can we do here? Well, we gotta choose an i such that x, y to the i, z is not in L. Because the pumping lemma says that no matter which i you pick, you always stay in the language. But if we show that there's a value in i that we leave the language, then that'll give us the desired contradiction to show that this is not regular. So how do we do this? Well, notice that when I said that if I picked one smaller here, if I pick one smaller for uh, the number of zeros that I have, I leave the language. So that means that's an indicator of pumping down. So let's choose i equal to zero. So x, y to the zero, z, which means we're picking zero copies of y. So that means it's just the string x, z, and nothing else. And if we just copy from our decomposition, that's zero to the alpha, zero to the p squared plus one minus alpha minus beta, one to the p. And if I take these two zero, uh, zeros together, well, the alphas cancel, so I'm going to get p squared plus 1 minus beta, 1 to the p. 
So what has to be true? Well, in order to be in the language, you have to meet either one of the two conditions. Either the number of zeros is less than the square root of the number of ones, or the number of ones is less than the square root of the number of zeros. So the thing that you should take note here, in particular with this language, is that if we fail one condition, it still could be true that the other condition is true. So we need to be able to show that both conditions are false. So I'm going to subdivide this into two conditions. And the one on the left, I'm going to call the m less than square root of n branch. And the other one, I'm going to call the n less than the square root of m branch. So what does that mean? Well, that means that for m less than the square root of n, that's just the number of zeros versus the number of ones. So p, what we're saying here is that p squared plus 1 um, minus beta, which is the number of zeros that we have, is less than the square root of p. But this is clearly false because we have a p squared right here and something like p to the one-half power. And beta is at most p, so that means that uh, this can never ever be satisfied. And you can actually verify this for, for yourself. So this uh, cannot be true for any value of p or beta because we got p squared on one side and square root p on the other and for the other branch well that's saying that p is less than the square root of p squared plus one minus beta so let's see well what does that mean if we square both sides p squared is less than p squared plus 1 minus beta. And if we uh, simplify this, this says that beta has to be less, strictly less than 1, which is a contradiction because we said that beta is at least 1. Contradiction. So in both cases, we have derived a contradiction. And then therefore, L is not regular since x, y to the 0, z is not in L. Okay, so the thing to take note from this is that whenever you have a pumping lemma style question and you have two different conditions you have to meet, you have to be able to show that both conditions are false to be able to leave the language. What students sometimes do is they only show one and not the other one. So I hope that was interesting. Please leave a comment uh, if you thought that this was interesting. Please leave a like to support the YouTube algorithm and this channel, and as always, I will see you next time.